Hey, what is up, everybody? This is the great Puckettini coming at you on behalf of PucketFanshop.com. And over at PucketFanshop.com is where I have all my beautiful dog designs and all kinds of products. You know, we put our beautiful designs on uh, T-shirts and sweaters and stickers and all, just any, all kinds of things you can think of. So head over to PucketFanshop.com and check it out. I'd love to do business with you. But what I got for you today is uh, I have the top 10 players in the Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles um, football game from Sunday night. You know, Dallas lost a tough game. Um, you know, they they fell way behind. They fell behind at first. A couple of questionable coaching calls and uh, a couple of turnovers. And then but they come roaring back there in the third quarter and they had a, had a good chance to win it. But anyway, there was 10 key players I wanted to highlight for their great game that they had, for the good games that they had. Number one was Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, Ezekiel rushed for rushed 13 times for 81 yards, and which that's a 6.2 yard per carry average, which is very good. And uh, he had one touchdown rushing there uh, right when they were making the run. It was a huge run at the time, and uh, Zeke did a good job, as he always does against the Eagles. Always does pretty good against them. He graded out at 78% overall. 78% in pass blocking, which is very big, you know, to have a running back that can sit in there and pick up any blitzes and all that kind of stuff. He does a great job at that. And he also graded out 83% in the run game, you know. That meant that he carried the ball the way he should have, didn't have any fumbles, you know, just did all the good stuff in the run game he should. And he had a lot of big runs when they needed him, you know. They had several times, third down and four or six, and he had some big runs when they needed it. And he kept some drives going. All right. Highlight uh, player number two that had a good game was C.D. Lamb. Uh, you know, C.D. had five catches for 68 yards, which was uh, right at a 14-yard per catch average, which was very good. Uh, he led the Cowboys in catches and yards. He had a 71% overall grade. He had a 73% grade in the passing offense. And then, uh, you know, what's, what's going to be interesting to see is now that I guess Dak is going to be coming back, uh, if he continues – playing as good as he's been playing you know if you remember back to week one Stephen Jones for one really criticized CD saying that he needed to play better be it show that he was a true number one receiver and I, I said in a video that I thought Dak was a lot of the problem he didn't give him a lot of passes to catch um so anyway he's really come on these last uh four or five weeks had some big games we'll see how I hope it continues to do that I hope Dak and his uh, completion percentage his um uh, you know, I hope, I hope he does a good job. I hope they work good together. We'll see, though. We'll see. All right, number three was rookie tight end Jake Ferguson. Uh, you know, uh, I have said in a couple of videos where I thought Ferguson was a really good draft pick back before the season started. Uh, he was targeted six times. He caught four of those passes for 40 yards, and he scored one touchdown. And he averaged, you know, 10 yards a catch. That's a first down, you know, so that's that's big. Uh, he had an 85% overall grade offensively, so that's really good, 85%. Uh, he also had a 92% receiving grade. That meant he caught the passes he should have caught, you know, and all that good stuff. Ran good routes and all that. And then number four was safety Malik Hooker. Had a really good game. Uh, he's been a really big pickup. He led the team in tackles with 12. Uh, three of his tackles stopped Eagles drives, and that's very big. You know, you got a third down got to stop him can't let him get a first and three of his tackles uh stopped the eagles from getting a first down he had a 73 percent overall grade a 72 percent run defense grade 75 percent tackling grade which dallas gets hammered on missed tackles which everybody missed tackles some you know but he had a very good game 75 percent missed tackle grade or 75 percent tackling grade excuse me not missed tackles and then he had a 68 percent coverage grade uh, which is pretty good. He'd like to be above 70, so he's right there about where, you know, it would be pretty good. So Malik Hooker definitely had a good game. 12 big tackles, and three of them stopped Eagles' drives. All right, player number five was defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. You know, I just read an article somewhere online saying that they should bench him and start Dorrance uh, Armstrong. And they've both been playing. I think they both should play him. We should rotate them in and out. But I definitely don't think Demarcus deserves to be benched. Uh, he's had some good games. He had seven tackles, three pressures. He was second on the team in tackles, and uh, he had a 65% overall grade, 
which you know is, is not gr not great, but it was uh, pretty good. That's getting up there in pretty good range. All right, number six was defensive end linebacker Michael Parsons. Now, if you listen to the media, they make it sound like Michael Parsons just got his, just played a terrible game. They blamed him for a lot of those little passes in the flap. That's not him. You know, he's there basically a quarterback is his responsibility. That was a bad coaching issue there because they're trying to man up on that guy coming across the formation. And you, that's hard to man up. They changed it later to where if they saw that coming, they zoned it, and that corner would, uh, would bounce out and pick up that guy coming across and the safety would move over and pick up the receivers guy and that's what i said on twitter if you follow me on twitter uh the great puckettini i said that in the game i said they're gonna have to change you cannot man that and they're, they're, the announcers were blaming michael parsons for that i mean he you know he can't do that uh his responsibility is a quarterback right there uh all right so he had four tackles and three total pressures um he had a 74 percent overall grade which is good uh, he had a 78% tackling grade, and he had a 76% pass rushing grade. You know, that's giving him a lot of um, attention. They were making sure they had him blocked and weren't going to let him uh, beat them. Uh, so anyway, he had a good game, but you'd think he had a terrible game based on all the media. Um, all right, number seven was safety, J. Ron Curse. It was good to have him back. You know, he's missed a couple weeks. Uh, he had five tackles, and two of those stopped an Eagles drive, which is really big. He graded 69% in the run game and 79% tackling grade. So you see our two safeties tackled real well. Uh, and like I said, it was just great to have him back. You know, he's a great player for us last year, and we need him on the field. All right, number eight was punt returner, Cavante Turpin. I mean, he had some really good returns. He had three punt returns for 36 yards, with a, which was a 12-yard average. That's very good. You'd like to have at least a 10-yard average. So every time you return it, you like to get a first down, you know, meaning 10 yards. But he averaged 12 yards, 12 yards per punt return, which was very good. Uh, they also had three kick returns for 96 yards, and that was a 32-yard return average, which is very good as well, because that means you're at least starting out by the 35 at least. So you're gaining good field position there. So good job by Kevante Turpin. Uh, I would love to see him get the ball on offense some. You know, use him kind of like a Tyreek Hill or something. Get him out there and get him the ball in space. See what he can do. You know, hit him on a slant. Hit him on a post route. Uh, don't just throw go routes on that. Try to square in. You know, something where he can catch it and run with it. Or a speed sweep or something, you know. I'd love to see him do that. But for some reason, kill him more. I don't know. He's supposed to be this great offensive mind but you don't see stuff like that uh all right number nine is right guard zach martin you know the philadelphia eagles have a very good defensive line they're tough and he did a good job in there he uh graded out a 72 percent pass blocking grade which is good he only gave up one pressure and uh, he in the the pff website they give him a passive they give him an efficiency rating and he graded out a 99 percent efficiency in pass blocking and it uh, explain it, but it's just how well they did overall pass blocking. And he was about 99% efficient. I, mean, I guess it means the guys didn't make the tackle, basically, or make a sack. All right, number 10 was right tackle Terrence Steele. He had a pretty good game, too, uh, run blocking anyway. He had 83% run blocking. He did struggle in pass blocking. He got beat a few times. It was pretty low. Um, uh, but he did have 95% efficiency in run blocking. So he had a pretty good game, you know, struggled in passing, though. And our offensive line, those two had good games. The rest of them really did not. You know, even Peters, he only played a couple plays, and he, he didn't grade out very good. So offensive line didn't do as good as they could have. You know, Cooper Rush was under a whole lot of pressure. I have a feeling if that was Dak under that kind of pressure, the media would be going crazy, uh, just wearing out the offensive line. But since it was Cooper, they, you know, going to excuse them this time, I guess. It's funny how that works. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, Cowboys, it was nice to see them fight back, get back in that game with a chance to win it there, uh, which was big. You know, they got down early, uh, quick there. All right, guys, that's all I have. Uh, that was just 10 key players, 10 highlights from the football game, from Saturday night's football game, Cowboys versus um, um, 
I just went blank. Cowboys versus uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, I come back, check my Great Puckettini channel often. I put videos on Cowboys, Arkansas Razorbacks. Also, check me out on Twitter, The Great Puckettini. Facebook, I'm The Great Puckettini. And also go to PucketFanshop.com and check out all my beautiful dog designs. I'd love to do business with you. And I just like to say, finish up, say, go Cowboys. Have a great day.